Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And in this video, we're talking about is it okay to ask someone's spouse for permission to play with you? That's right, this is gonna be a good one. Keep watching. Okay, so we were at a large event recently mm -hmm. and we ran into a couple yep. that I hit it off with a woman pretty instantly. Yeah. And they had very similar rules as us as far as playing separately and what they were interested in and how they connected with other couples that were very similar to what we are. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't know how to move things forward and they didn't know how to move things forward. And so they decided. Can I ask a question? Why didn't you know how to move things forward? Because. Because you were usually the master at that. So what made this different as far as moving things forward for you? I think the biggest difference was you and your connection with him, or I wouldn't say lack of connection, but because you are generally uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. You're here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, you have uh, to really want it. A guy has to flirt with you. A guy has to actually show woo interest me. and woo you. Yeah. Sure. That uh, and oftentimes guys don't do that mm -hmm. because they might feel intimidated by you because you're so sexy. Or there's someone easier next to me. Or there's someone easier <laughs> next to you. Absolutely. And uh, so it's a little bit difficult for me to move forward with a woman mm -hmm. sometimes because I want to make sure that you are connected with a gentleman if that happens to be the case. And there was attraction between you and him but he wasn't necessarily moving things forward right. uh, and as the few days of this event progressed clearly the t clock was ticking mm. and so she wanted to play with me but was also intimidated by me I guess and didn't know how to ask me if I wanted to play so what did she do she asked me if she she didn't say can I play with Matt or anything like that it was just do you think that Matt is interested in me and would he mind or would you guys mind if I kind of flirted with him and maybe moved things a little bit more a little bit forward and I was like oh my gosh he would totally love that yeah go for it so, so she just asked if was, she could flirt with me no I mean she asked uh, it, she didn't say hey can I fuck your husband oh. in so many words I mean she was you cool. know <laughs> I mean I knew that that's where she was wanting to go right. so from the words and I don't remember exactly what she said but from the words that she used I knew that it was was if you were interested it would move that way which I knew you were interested because we had had a conversation that you were interested in her mm -hmm. um, so I knew that it would move forward if if one of you was, you know got it going and I thought it was kind of cool like it didn't feel like she was asking me for permission to play with you mm -hmm. necessarily she was just kind of checking in to see you know is Matt interested if I were to start flirting with him like would he be interested in in playing, you right. know, and um, and then I was able to kind of uh, give you a heads up of, hey, I had this conversation with her, so, you know, get it going. <laughs> right. And so on the opposing side of that, we happened to be having a conversation with a, a couple recently, and she was saying to us that if a woman asked her about her husband, she would be super insulted. Mm -hmm. and, 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 on, and the exact opposite, if someone had asked her husband, if she could play that she would be uh, uh, absolutely turned off by that because then from her perspective she feels like a piece of property mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she is her own person she could say yes or no and of course she could do that anyway right. but the fact that someone else would ask the spouse if it's okay was a complete turn off to her right but I think the difference here is that she was not asking me is it okay if I play with your husband mm -hmm. she was not saying you know like talking about that it was just do you know if your husband's interested in me and you know moving forward with with flirting so so like I said she never said I want to fuck your husband can I fuck your husband it was more of it, you know, is it okay if I start flirting and moving things forward with him? Uh, would he enjoy? It was more of like, would he be interested in that? Mm -hmm. Kind of getting like the the woman's perspective of like checking in of like, would I be wasting my time if he's not interested? Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, I think it's different to do that. Like, I think it's almost asking for advice on how can, you know, is your person, do you know if your person's interested? And if they are, how can I move these things forward? Like, I know people have tried, so 
I look at this thing as it was kind of like she was wingmanning. We were wingmanning each other to get to you, right? Okay. There was not the, the, you're a piece of meat. It never occurred to me, and I don't think that occurred to you. I don't mind being um, a piece of meat. No, you don't. But that's not how I felt like the sure. conversation was. Um, and I know that people, women and men, have come up to you and asked for advice on how to approach me, how yeah. to make me feel comfortable. And I don't personally think that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's not when it's seeking advice of a wingman type thing like do you know if your wife is interested in me and if so how do I approach her in a way that makes her feel comfortable and sexy and that like I don't think there's anything wrong with that no not at all and in, and in fact because so many people have asked me about you and I want you to play and I want you to feel connected to others and I don't want you to feel left out if I'm off doing my thing or, or something along those lines that I want to give people all the advice that I can on uh, how much work Bianca is. And, uh, and that it's worth it. And that, it, and that it's worth it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's no question about that. There's, there's no question about that. But it's, uh, it's not as, she's not as easy as me, unfortunately. No, so, and so when someone does ask me, I will tell her, just like what I'll say on these videos too, I mean, you know, she, need, she needs to be wooed. She needs to show, you need to show interest. You need to potentially move things forward. You need to be the first one to put your hand on her arm or whatever it might be. Um, because that shows her interest because she is nervous. She now, is would, you, would you do that? Would you give that advice to someone you knew that I was not interested in? If some man came up to me and you were like pretty sure or positive that I was not interested in them, how would you approach that? Because this situation, I knew that you were interested in her because we had had the conversation. But if it had been someone I wasn't sure about... There is a difference between a difference. her saying, hey, is Matt interested in me? Compared to what are the techniques to get Matt a little turned on? Because those are two different questions. Right. And, and if someone said, hey, what are some of the tricks to get Bianca interested? Whether you were attracted to her or not, should I answer that question honestly? Because that's a different question. Then, so how do I get Bianca into bed, or or what uh, is Bianca interested in me? Mm -hmm. Two very different questions. I agree. And so, if someone said, if someone that I knew that you were very not interested in said to me, "Hey, Matt, are, is, is Bianca interested in me?" I I would be like, I I don't know, I don't think so. She's never necessarily shown any interest, but that doesn't mean she wouldn't. It needs to be on him to to potentially do the work. Right. Uh, and that's enough. That's mm -hmm. enough because that's not saying yes or no, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, is different, mm -hmm. because if that woman would have asked you, is Matt interested, and you knew I clearly wasn't, mm -hmm. you might have said something very different. True. Actually, what would you have said? Oh, you're putting me on the spot. Yeah, you just did to me. <laughs> I know. If, if, so if they said, is Matt interested in me, and I knew fully that you weren't? Yeah. God, knowing me, honestly, I would probably be like, oh, I don't know, and put it back in your court. That, I'll, you know what, believe it or not, <laughs> that is a, that's an okay answer. Yeah, because it's like, I, you are different than me, very yeah. different, in uh -huh. that there are people that you may not be interested in, mm -hmm. but if they do the right things, you'll be interested in them in some capacity. Y and you're the same way. They're different things. True. They're different things because if you're just going off of, am I physically attracted to that person by looking at them, that's a gray area. Mm -hmm. That's a gray area for both of us. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if if you see a guy and you don't you don't see the first instant attraction, oh my God, he's a supermodel, but he does all the right things that turn you on, you will show interest in that and Absolutely. you will be interested in him. Yeah. In that same way, so will I. Yeah. They're different. They're different right. marks that they're going to have to hit for me to be interested in that then mm -hmm. compared to what you are going to be interested in. But that is one of those things that if someone has said, hey, is your spouse in interested in me, oftentimes you can't really answer that question. No, that's true. That's not is, it, is it even your place to answer that question? What do you mean? You know, I mean, if someone were to say to you, is Bianca interested in me? I don't know. Is it your place to answer that? I mean... If you don't, I guess if you don't know. I think the difference would be think, in that scenario with the woman who had asked you about me was that her and I had done some flirting, and and that from that perspective she was, she probably was a little bit of a more of a question mark of you were flirting, but I don't know he hasn't oh, put a move on me, yeah. so is he interested? Maybe you might have talked about me type of thing, and that's where exactly where you guys yeah. were. Yeah. Uh, where if I had said two words to her and we had never even looked at each other, and she came up to you and said that, you would have been like, I have no. 
no idea mm -hmm. because it's never come up. There's never been any interest. You I, are just one in the crowd. Yeah, and I think I would have been honest too, saying, you know, I'm not sure, but maybe if you have a conversation with him, flirt a little bit, you know, you can find out for yourself. Which is exactly the answer that I just gave to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then and that's, that's how it is. But I guess really back to what we were originally talking about is more of a permission aspect mm -hmm. of am I allowed to go play with your wife? Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to go play with your husband? And and I mean, what do you think of a that? Across the board, I would say everybody I've ever talked to about that question mm -hmm. has said, if someone were to say that to me, I'd get really pissed off. You would get pissed off if someone asked about me or if someone asked I, that like, about you? I, if someone said to Matt, some guy came up to you and said, hey, can I play with Bianca? I would hope that you would say, um, that's a Bianca question. That uh, absolutely, that would, that would be my um, answer. And, and that would probably, possibly be a turnoff if I knew that that had happened because I'm not a piece of meat. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I understand that there are some people that feel like they need to ask that permission of the spouse, but I think that there's just a way to do it that is more, because I do like to show respect to the other, the other spouse. You yeah. know, I like to let them know that I'm good and I know a lot of people won't play with people if they haven't had a conversation with the spouse to make sure that everybody is okay you know do, are you seriously allowed to play separately are you really allowed to do this like nobody wants to break up a marriage and do something right. something bad but I think it's all in the way that you word things if you are asking permission to play with the other person's spouse I don't think that that's the right way to do it I think that you know like we said asking for the wingman type questions you know I, I, I think it's just all in the way you word it. If someone had come up to me and said, can I play with your husband? There's no, I'm not gonna say, yes, you have my permission to play with my husband. It's going to be, I'm gonna pass it off to you. Well, wouldn't you, but wouldn't it be, I'm okay with it? Wouldn't the answer be, I'm okay with it? It's And then it's, and, sure. and it's up to him. Sure, I suppose, yeah, I'm like, you know, but it would, I would feel really awkward if someone came up and said. But if you were, if you were no, because for example, you, we only played together, or you had no interest in the husband or the, uh, the spouse or whatever, that you would, and someone said, hey, can I go play with your husband? You wouldn't say, that's not up to me, that's up to Matt. Mm -hmm. You would, you would, you wouldn't want to answer that because you don't want to lead things that direction in that right. situation to now you have to be the one saying no to the husband that you have zero interest mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that it, it depends also every situation. Like, you and I are a little bit different than some people because we do play separately. Right. Um, if it was a group play situation, you had a, four people, the guy came up to, we, we only play together, and the guy came up, or the woman came up to me and said, you know, can I play with Matt? I, how does that work within that dynamic, especially if I'm not interested in her partner mm -hmm. you know then then now i'm stuck saying for all of us no I, but isn't but that again, isn't that good again i don't know i get i i feel like sometimes it's just phrasing that can turn someone off okay using the phrasing you know can i play with your person is different than i don't know would they be interested you know if they're interested in me and moving things forward. I think that that's very different than talking about them as if they're a piece of meat. Okay, so I guess back to the original question then, would you prefer it if someone asked you if they could play with me, or would you prefer it if that conversation did not happen and it's all on me? I would prefer it if it was all on you. Like, I appreciated that the person came up to me and asked me, I guess, but it's so, for me, it's so not necessary because it's all about you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I think the difference, if she came up to me and said, can I play with Matt? That would have made me very, it would have been a very different question for me um, in how I felt about it because I probably would have felt a little bit more threatened, maybe, of like, uh, uh, threatened's not necessarily the right, right, I would have felt uncomfortable with answering that question. Whereas when she just said, hey, do you know if he's interested? If I if I move forward, is that okay? To me, that was less threatening. Okay, so now the four of us are talking, mm -hmm. and we're hitting it off. All four of us are hitting off, and she asks you in front of us. Yes. Everybody? Uh huh. Or should she ask me? She should ask you. Or should she ask both of us? Or should what what should they do in if that situation? If all four of us are together, mm -hmm. that would be more of a question to the group. Like, would you guys like to move this forward and go into the playroom? That would be more of a group question, not a okay. because if we played together only, that would be more of yeah. 
hey, would you guys be interested in moving this to the, play to the playroom? Okay. All right. As opposed to, you wouldn't sit there if you only play together and and you're looking for a group situation for people, you wouldn't say, hey, I want to play with you. Let's go to the back. Or, you know, do you want to go to, the, like, because if we only play together, then what's happening with me and the other person? Well, except for the fact that, that the woman and I would be flirting heavily and you guys might not be flirting heavily. That's where the difference lies. Because That's still a point of, hey would, you, we, hey, would you guys be interested in moving to this to the back? And then that gives us a moment to say, no, let's, let's maybe flirt a little bit more on the dance floor. Or, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable here. Let's, let's talk for a little bit more and see where it goes. Or, you know, you know I really don't play on the first time we meet somebody, um, but I'd love to continue this conversation if you're interested and see where it goes. Or, no thank you. Yeah. Also, also a good answer. Uh, or also, we are going to go talk about it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and get back to you. Yeah. Yeah, also, sim simple as that. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? And are we are we right on board or, or we don't know what we're talking about? That sometimes <laughs> people will comment sometimes like, what the heck? Are you or guys do you have, have better advice? Do you have, like, what do you do in that situation? Do, have you ever asked for permission to play with someone and how did it go? Or would you be insulted if someone asked permission to your spouse about you like you are a piece of meat? Yeah. Please comment below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you could do us a really quick favor, could you press that like button? The more likes we have, help other people see the videos that we put out there and we can just help more people within this lifestyle. And then don't forget to subscribe because that way you'll be alerted every time we have a new video that comes out. And don't forget to go to clubsapphire.com. They've always been .net, but oh, now I they know. have the .com so too. <laughs> so I don't have to actually say that wrong like I oftentimes do. So <laughs> clubsapphire.com or .net, it all works out. Find out the amazing events that are coming up. Uh, brand new, uh, lots of different events, uh, uh, numerous days of the week. It's a great place to be. If you haven't been there, come on by and join us. And if you see us, come say hello. That's right. We'll see you then. All right. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.